Hi! This video looks at how to set up a DHCP server, okay, dynamic host configuration protocol server that basically makes it easy to assign IP addresses to other computers that want to join the network, okay, rather than you having to manually configure IP addresses for them, they can just, shall we say, click into the or plug into the LAN and then basically their computer will send out a broadcast and then it'll get an IP address and it'll be automatically configured all without any human intervention. Okay, so basically in server 2016 and 2012 R2, it's via server manager. Okay, we get the server manager by either clicking on this icon over there or in server 2016 it's right over here click server manager on in 2012 it's in the start section where you see that icon okay start at the dashboard okay add roles and features next okay select a server that you want to install it on okay in this case we only have that one as it's just a demo okay add features happy next 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 okay always good practice click on there restart the destination server automatically if required however if your computer has vital stuff running on it that your server has vital stuff running on it that cannot be shall we say stopped at this moment then don't take that okay install okay now the installation is completed now we need to configure it Okay, click next. Okay, use administrator or alternative credentials to basically authorize it. Okay, commit. Okay, and it's done, it's done. Authorization is done. Close. Okay. Now we are going to configure our DHCP um, server. Okay, um, using DHCP manager. Basically, let's enlarge that. We go to IP version 4, as that's what we're doing. Click new scope. Next. Okay, give it a name, a name that's appropriate. Let's call this um, LAN1. Okay. Okay, and then we give a start IP address and end IP address. In this case, we'll take 192.168.0.2. End IP address 192.168.0.115. Okay, the subnet mask has automatically been chosen. Yes, that's the correct one in this case. Okay, now we need to have any exclusions and delay. Okay, we'll exclude later. Okay, for now, let's go ahead. Okay, lease duration. How long do you want the client computers to have that IP address? If you're having lots of clients coming and going, you might want to reduce it. If you're having clients coming and staying for a long time, the computers aren't changing that much. Um, that are logged onto the network, then you might want to increase it or fine tune it a little bit. Okay, the default state, we'll go with that. Yes, I want to configure DHCP options. Okay, basically the router in this case, 168.0.1, add it. Next. Okay, that's fine. Okay, it's automatically diagnosed at Win server. You could Okay, that automatically adds it. Next. Yes, I want to activate the scope now. Finish. That's fine. Okay, we might want to add some reservations. Okay, and what do we need to do? We need to have the MAC address. So, over here, we go into there, the scope. Okay, and reservations. New reservation, and we're going to give this as server. 006 okay and we're gonna give it an IP address of 0 and 30 the MAC address is exactly what we have 
over there when we type in IP config all in PowerShell. Okay, so we're gonna enter 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.0.0.0.1.5.5D, I think it was. 5D, 5D, 0, 1. And then it was D314. D314, give it any description if you want. DHCP server. Okay. Add. And now we have another one that we want to do, and this is 31. And the MAC address from that we'll enter in. Okay, we'll get that and enter in it. Okay, once that's done, okay, we will go to our other computer and basically show you how that works over there. Okay, in the other computer, what we have, okay, let's just close all these. Okay, if we go over there and click open network and sharing, and then that, and then properties and IP version 4 properties. You see, it says obtain an IP address automatically. Specify the DNS server, okay, which is the server that basically is the LAN DNS server that also is aware of the DHCP server. Okay, so we've specified that. Okay, and obtain an IP address automatically. Click OK. Click close. Click close. What that will do, okay, is automatically whoops ip config okay if you can see okay we had set up a reservation for server 005 which is this computer okay and we had given the mac address in there just as we had just shown and it's automatically given 31 to us okay so this is how it works if we had not specified a reservation, it would have given any number from that server pool range that we had created. Okay, so hopefully this has helped, and thank you for watching.